Hey Gemini, welcome to your reading for the first half of April, 1st to the 15th. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's get straight into this. Please remember this is a general reading, so take what leaves, oh, I'm sorry, take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't, yeah? Let's do this. Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Geminis, sun, moon, and rising. Please bring forward the best messages for Gemini for this time period of April 1st through the 15th. Thank you so much, Spirit. Gemini. The twins. Gemini. Gemini. One more shuffle for you, Gemini, and then I will cut the zid. Uh oh, Gemini has a flyer, and it's the devil. What are you chained to, Gemini? What are you feeling trapped by? What are you indulging in? And that doesn't necessarily mean substances. That just could mean actions. Um. Um. Um, ways of treating people is what's coming up. It's like, wow, what is that? Oof, I want to put that away. I don't like it. It's scary. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's just keep that in mind as we move through this reading. I'm going to give this three more shuffles. Gemini. There's something real ominous about that devil card that came out. Gemini. It's like foreshadowing almost. Gemini. One last shuffle for you, Gemini. And then we'll get into this. You know what? As I'm doing this, I'm just going to tell you. Or, yeah, that devil energy, it feels like you're, you're just really giving into it. Almost like you've gotten to a point in your life where you you feel like you have no choice but to keep dancing with the devil. And that's really unfair. And I'm not saying it's unfair of you to, 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 to choose that. I'm saying it's unfair for you to feel like you have to choose that. Boo. Underneath your, um, your overall energy, we're starting with the Seven of Pentacles. So some of you may be getting to a point where you're starting to realize what has been really going on around you. Um, the ominous nature of the devil could be that you were very much unaware that that energy was around you. And now as you're doing some sort of, like you're taking stock um, and starting to slowly take responsibility for the little things that are going on in your life, you're starting to see the pattern, you're starting to see the common denominator. And that common denominator is that devil energy, okay? That alliance, that allegiance to something that, ah, king of pentacles and death, very good, and the queen of cups. All right, so for some of you, Gemini, there is a death surrounding egotism and materialism. That, for some of you, is exactly what that devil energy represents. You had this alliance to uh, materialism that, sure, made you very, very wealthy, very stable. Um, you look real good on paper. But how do you look emotionally? Mm, Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is influencing this this death is influencing the illumination of whoops the devil energy around you right now um because it's for some reason it's finally able to break through i think you've gone through enough gemini where um where and you're you're very intelligent you're very logical many there isn't much that gets gets past you and that's kind of <laughs> and that's kind of been your blessing and your curse in this situation because now you're really starting to see the truth and your emotions are starting to awaken um, because we are move, we are shifting the, the, we are shifting as a planet um, energetically we are all, all shifting to a more heart-based um, reality and so that is absolutely going to influence your emotions um, being able to be more prominent 
in your life, which is going to facilitate this death. Why? Because it's leading you to take responsibility for your life. And you're not someone to really shirk responsibility either. I mean, you... Mm, Mm. You may argue, <laughs> you may argue your point fervently, but ultimately, you know, you can't hide yourself from the truth, and you know that. You're pretty comfortable with that. Moving forward in your storyline, we have temperance, so greater balance. Yep. On a spiritual sense. Yep. The universe is helping you bring this balance. Yep. <laughs> with the Eight of Swords, but you still, you feel trapped. You feel trapped, and I literally I literally just heard there ain't no reason to feel like that. Because you can get yourself out of this. You've been doing it already by taking stock with the Seven of Pentacles, by starting to slowly but surely take responsibility for where you find yourself. I mean, you, you got this, boo. You already know. You already know. So why are you wasting your time with this Eight of Swords bullshit? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Moving forward. We have the Nine of Pentacles with the Three of Cups. Look. Boo, you got this. I mean, yes, you built yourself up to the king of pentacles state, right? Um, but it's it, it's false in the sense that it's ego-based, it's material, heavily materialistic, and you don't really have much of a life outside of whatever it is this material, this king of pentacles represents for you. And so what got you up in the eight of swords energy is the fact that you feel like you're going to be knocked down to the, you're going to be knocked down and you're not going to be this um, nine of pentacles, this uh, this abundant and stable and independent person anymore, but that just ain't the case because the universe is here telling you that with the three of cups, that celebration is at hand. We're not going to knock you off your, quote, pedestal and throw you back down into the trenches. That's not going to happen. Why? Because you're doing what is being asked of you. You are following the guidance. You are listening to your heart. You are taking responsibility for things, and you're doing what you need to do to fix it. That does not mean you're going to lose your status. And honestly, you're going to be greater celebrated. Why? Because you are finally going to be reconnecting, potentially reconnecting with people that you may have cut out because of this heavily materialistic nature, okay? Moving forward, we have Seven of Cups with the Five of Wands. Okay, here's the thing, and this is why, um, you, and this is why you, choosing, you having to choose the devil is unfair, or at least feeling like you have to choose the devil. Um, you've, got, you've got too many damn cook cooks in the kitchen, boo-boo, with the Five of Wands. Too many damn cooks in the kitchen. And then that puts all this seven of cups energy in front of you. Why? Because you have all these differing opinions and all of these opposing um, viewpoints that are generated from all these different opinions, including your own. And so now you're being surrounded with all, it's like your head is spinning. It's like, which one do I, which cup do I pick? Do I pick this one? Do I do this? Do I do that? But I really want to do that, but I can't do that because everybody's telling me to do this. Nah. And uh, thankfully that is right under death. So you're letting that go. Das ist gut, yeah? Princess of Wands. So we've got the Page of Wands with Strength. Yeah, you are embarking on a brand new passionate journey. Now, this is not the Fool, okay? But this is the, the, the Page or the Princess in this deck of Wands. And so this is speaking to spirituality, a newfound sense of self, a newfound sense of passion, a newfound sense of spirituality, spiritual reality and so that is that is leading you that is um helping you make this transformation and the universe is providing you with strength to follow through with this with this new reality you're stepping into you the universe is handing you the strength and is asking you to please hold on to this okay let us support you. You have this brand new connection with us now that you're, you're experiencing on a daily basis every second of your life. You're aware now. So we're handing you this strength. Please take it. And there's more where that came from. Yeah? Moving forward, we have the Hanged Man. Interesting. Right under the Eight of Swords, which in which this guy kind of looks like he's, he's... Well, he's definitely tied up, but he's hanged too. With... The Ten of Pentacles. All right. So here's the here's the thing. Um, with the Seven of Pentacles, the the introspect or the uh, the taking responsibility. 
um, and trying to understand, you know, identifying the ways that you, that, you know, you've reached this state is now putting you in a hanged man situation. Um, and it's all surrounding the 10 of pentacles, meaning, um, you are getting a, a, a different, um, ooh, a much different is what I'm hearing, a much different perspective on ultimate material fulfillment. What does this really mean to you, this Ten of Pentacles? Is it a bunch of money, fancy house, fancy car, the best thrift, best clothes money can buy, um, opulence, 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 or is it family, friends, connections with people, relationships? What does that truly mean mean to you, Gemini? What does that rep what what does the Ten of Pentacles represent for you? That's what the hanged man energy is for you right now. You are in suspension. You may you may even be in isolation um, while you figure all this out. But there it is. There is the question. There is the million dollar question. What is ultimate material fulfillment for you? Moving forward. We have judgment. So see, you're hearing the call. Everybody's being called to something. <laughs> okay? And you're hearing it. That's good. With the King of Swords. So this is you, Gemini. You are showing up right here with the King of Swords. Okay? Um, and what I'm picking up here is, yes, you do have this newfound sense of spirituality that is represented with the, uh, the Page of Wands here. In this deck, it's the Page of Wands is considered the princess. Um, but you're still not so sure about it. I'm picking up some... <laughs> and it makes perfect sense. I'm picking up some pretty heavy skepticism. You like, you're literally this guy sitting there with your arms crossed and his sword right there like, uh-huh, you expect me to believe this. Uh-huh. And then the universe goes and proves it and you're like, Huh. Okay. <laughs> you know. Uh-oh. Sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> yeah, so that's happening. But, um, but you're hearing the call, and that's good. And honestly, I don't want you to think that embodying this King of Swords energy is really all that bad, because it's not. Especially if this newfound spiritual spirituality that you've come across is really that new to you, a healthy dose of skepticism will get you very far. At least at this point, because at a certain point, you're going to you're going to have to accept that you are, in fact, comfortable enough to let go of your grip of this sword a little bit and like start to really trust unconditionally. But that is further down the road. It's not right now. You don't have to do that right now. Stay in this King of Swords energy for right now. OK, but remember to be as diplomatic as possible. All right. Don't just go swinging your sword because you don't like something like be objective. Look at the bigger picture before you start trying to cut something out, okay? Next, we have, oh, the Princess of Swords. Mm -mm. Well, that's also the Page of Swords with the Five of Pentacles. All right. Um, mm, 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 mm. What I'm picking up here for some people is... Um, you, you had a tendency to just, like, cut people out. There wasn't much tact in some of your communications with other people. And that often left them feeling left out in the cold and just, like, literally attacked by you. And it's not like you really meant all that much harm with it. It's just... <sighs> I feel like in relation to this reading, in relation to this time period, there could be a situation where a conversation is had or um, somebody you want to reach out or somebody wants to reach out, but the communication doesn't really, is not all that um, balanced. So some things don't come across quite right. Um, and we are in Mer Mercury retrograde, so be careful. I mean, this is not the energy of the Knight of Swords where I would really be saying be careful of some fights, but... I'm seeing a little bit of petty argument, arguing here, um, a bit of, of, of uh, immaturity when it comes to communication. Um, 
that could leave you or someone else feeling out in the cold, um, feeling lack. Please excuse the silence. I'm uh, the pause. I am channeling this message because it's pretty obscure. So maybe that was it. This is more of a warning. And not that it's really all that bad. It's just a, a I'm sorry, not a warning, a caution. Um, to just try and make communication as mature as possible. Okay? Because I feel like for some of you, that's a bit of a challenge. Even though you're a Gemini, um, sometimes there's the way you might communicate something to someone, especially if you're really passionate about it, you're like really fired up about it, there could be a lack of tact, um, which can leave people feeling alienated, really. Um, but that's okay, you know? I do feel like that is part of this transformation, this death that you're making. But yeah, okay. Finally, in the story, we have the Three of Pentacles with... The Nine of Wands. Um, okay, yeah, so I'm really picking up on some entrepreneurship um, energies here. Entrepreneurial energies. Um, I am picking up that as you make this transformation, you could be leaving the job that you're at now and starting your own business, say. And with the Nine of Wands here, the Spirit is just asking you just to keep going, okay? Just keep swimming. Keep persevering. Keep going for the things that your heart is guiding you to, right? Because, um, yeah, it's not necessarily going to be easy, and it's definitely not going to be pretty, but, well, at least all the time, but... Um, you're just really being encouraged to persevere. And look, Nine of Wands is still right under is right under strength. And that was when the universe was saying to you, we're handing you this power, just take it. There's more to come. So there, there, there's more where that came from. So just keep going, keep pressing on, keep fighting. If you need to, take a break, um, defend yourself a little, you know, maybe not necessarily stay on the offense, maybe kind of, uh, switch over to the defense for a little bit so you can kind of, you know, collect yourself and, you know, plan out your next, your next move. But for the most part, you're just being asked to persevere because you're on a good path. You're on the right track. Okay. All right, Gemini, there it is. Thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you for the second half of April coming out later. Yeah. I hope this was helpful. Much love to you. Take care. Bye-bye.